Oh my freaking gosh. You guys, we're at 2K. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you all so fucking much. You guys are so amazing. I can't even believe it. I woke up and I was like, <gasps> yes, it's time. <laughs> also, I wanted to give you guys a quick update about, you know, myself, especially considering the topic of the video on Monday that I released. I'm doing much better. My family is okay. We're 100% okay. And for those of you asking about donations and as opposed to donating to others, you're donating to me directly. My family would, and I've asked them, my family would much rather the donations go to our neighbors, you know, the ones around us who have been more impacted and are having a more of a financially difficult time because my family, we're okay financially. Like we are okay. There's, we have a ton of insurance behind us. So it's just a really, really shitty situation. Um, and we would rather go, we would rather the money help our friends and neighbors who have been more affected than us. Um, my mom has coworkers that have been ridiculously affected. My dad has coworkers. My, you know, my aunts and uncles, my grandma even has people that, like, she knows that have went through significant loss and even the slightest bit helps. So those of you who have been, who donated or are, like, looking into that stuff or doing what you can to kind of raise awareness, thank you so much. Like, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, it really means a lot to me. Um, I know at some point when this channel you know, gains a little bit more traction. I want to start doing charity live streams. And this is something that I definitely, definitely want to get into because um, I've seen it work so well for like Cardlin Audio and a bunch of other, you know, big Let's Players who have done it. And if I was to do this, if, you know, if I was to choose a philanthropy if I was to choose a business to donate it to it would be the it would be the Crohn's and Colitis Research Foundation and the reason I chose I would choose that is because I personally am diagnosed with ulcerative colitis I have been since 2015 and it has been something that I've been dealing with uh, and it sucks it, it just sucks so Right now, I'm okay. It's just, you know, I go through the ups and downs. But this is something that obviously directs me. It, it directly affects me. And so this is something to, you know, look out for in the future. I will be doing... I plan on also donating to other charities, such as the Rape Crisis, um, Cri Rape Crisis Center of America and the, you know, you know, the Red Cross, et cetera, et cetera. But for, you know, the majority of these, if I was to ever do a live stream, like a charity live stream, and these donations would be going to that foundation because you know without it my life would be a lot shittier <laughs> literally <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for being with me on this journey you have all really changed my life for the better and you've given me a new hope a new look on life and I really want to say thank you from the very bottom of my heart and I cannot believe that we've been on this journey together and I can't believe we've gotten here so quickly you know what that means. It's time for another Q&A. Alrighty, so this time, instead of allowing you guys to ask me questions, I've come up with a good list of, like, more personal questions that I wanted to answer and kind of get to know you guys on a little bit more of an intimate level. Or, well, you know, you guys get to know me on a more intimate level. <laughs> okay, so question number one. What Hogwarts house are you? I'm a Slytherin, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, what are some pet peeves you have? Um, I really, really don't like repeating myself. Like, that's something that really irks me is when I'm, like, in the zone or doing something and then all of a sudden someone's, like, asked me to repeat what I just said and it's like, <sighs> okay. It's kind of, an, it's, it's annoying. It's kind of like an annoying little habit. Um, perfect date scenario. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Maybe, like, going out to the park, taking a walk around, maybe going to, like, a museum, going to get some lunch. Anything that involves food, really, I'm happy to be a part of. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my perfect date scenario. Anything that involves food. <laughs> like, that's, that's my passion. Food is my passion. 
That in good company, of course. <laughs> it's a nice day, and then when the night winds in, we can go back to my place, get a little bit more comfortable, so I can kick your ass in Mario Kart 64. <laughs> That's right, you going down. Undefeated. <laughs> okay. Um, passion aside from ASMR. Um, uh, I like to sing. I like to dance. I love dancing. I like to perform. I like theater. So I like being in shows. I like going to shows. Um, so yeah, I would say that my passion is definitely like dance and theater, especially outside of, you know, ASMR. Um, ooh, physical and mental turn-ons. Um, physical... I am definitely more attracted to, at least for, like, for men, I'm attracted to guys with, like, deeper voices. I, I don't know. I like, I like guys with good voices, like, so that deep voice or, like, a good singing voice, it's like, mm, yes. <laughs> and then a mental turn on. Um, mm, being able to hold a conversation literally about anything it could be about like nerdy stuff it could be about like politics or it could be about anything as long as I'm able to like hold a cohesive conversation and it's not like one where I want to rip my own arms off and beat the other person with it I most likely am going to be mentally attracted to you <laughs> you know okay favorite video game Ugh, don't make me choose just one um <laughs> I love, 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 the one game that I can play continuously is uh, To the Moon. You know, it's a very beautiful 16-bit kind of game where it focuses more on the story and the music. Ugh, the fucking soundtrack is one of the best I've ever heard. So if you guys haven't checked it out, it's I'm pretty sure it's on PC and um, it's, in, it's on Steam. And it's just, it's a fantastic game. It's a beautifully designed game. It's a beautifully... It's a beautiful story. Uh, if you were a video game character, which one would you be? Oh, that's hard. Okay, I would either be Carmelita Fox from the Sly Cooper series or I'd be Jinx from League of Legends. Mainly because Carmelita Fox, obviously, she's like a Latin character. So I kind of got that, you know, I'd love to have some of that kick-ass Latin flair. And Jinx, because I, I think she and I literally share the exact same body type. Like, my friends um, have commented multiple times that I should do a Jinx cosplay because I can pull it off pretty well <laughs> um biggest fear Ooh. um honestly death death scares me as somebody who is going through like medics like medications and like hospital visits on a constant basis it terrifies me the idea of just not being there the next day it's a fucking terrifying concept oh favorite thing about yourself my confidence. I am a very, very confident person. And it's like the one thing that I love about myself is that I'm very confident. Uh, my ultimate goal in life. Right now, I think my ultimate goal in life is to be okay. It's to be at a place in my life where I generally am like, ah, okay, I'm okay. You know, like right now, life is kind of crazy and chaotic. But I think my ultimate life goal would be to feel 100% okay. Because it's been a while. Favorite color? Oh, um, I like black. I like red. I like purple. I like blue. I like all colors. I like colors. I think colors are pretty. I, I think I like, I just, I love colors. Do you play D&D? Hell yes, I do. It's been a while, but I, I love, I love playing D&D. It's fun. I don't have a preference on edition. I don't have a preference in terms of like homebrew or, you know, core, like core rule book edition kind of thing. Um, I love it. I just think it's such a fun experience where you get to get together with a big group of friends or like a small group of friends and then just dick around. <laughs> uh, favorite flower, the rose. Ugh, I think there's just something so romantic about a rose it's just so beautiful and so classic i love it favorite art style art nouveau art nouveau is definitely one of my favorite art styles because it's just gorgeous it's very simple it's very eye-catching and it really like it has a lot of history to it which is something that i really love quote that i live by you can you should and if you bra and if you're brave enough to start you will and that's by stephen king um, 
because I love that saying so much because it's 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 a very empowering kind of quote and it, it's something that like really like pumps me up just to think about plus I just I love Stephen King he's one of my favorite authors I <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell already <laughs> um piercings or ink I have both I have seven tattoos I have two gauges <laughs> well I have a set of gauges and then um one more piercing um favorite voice actor Ooh, um on youtube that's hard um i think i'm gonna have to go with keston howard because i like me some deep voice and um in terms of famous a little bit more well-known i would have to say nick bakay and for those of you who don't know he played the voice of salem saberhagen from sabrina the teenage witch <laughs> that's what i love about him he's such a bizarre character <laughs> coffee or tea both as long as it's caffeinated, like, gotta get it, gotta get that shit in my veins. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I definitely believe in, like, feeling, like, rushes at first sight. Like, you know, like somebody that, like, kind of takes the air out of the room as they walk in. Um, but I don't know about love at first sight. I don't think I believe in it. I think, you know, love is something that takes two people to, to work towards. Um, some people are lucky and find it early, and some people aren't. But I don't think I believe in it. I think that love requires work. Uh, PC or console gaming? Both. My newest edition console is an N64. <laughs> I don't play a lot of, like, new console games uh, because I don't have the money or technology to do so, but I love... I will read about them and I'll watch playthroughs of them and I will try and I've tried to test them at like going to GameStop and playing for like a couple of minutes. Um, what's a fun fact about yourself? Uh, I can say the alphabet backwards at various speeds. It's kind of a quirky little thing that not a lot of people know about me. Um, when I was like seven or eight, I was hanging out at my grandma's house one day and I was like, Grandma, I'm bored. I want to learn how to say the alphabet backwards. And she's like, I... So she grabs a piece of paper, she lays, she like spells out the alphabet, and she takes me step by step. And so, Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. It's kind of like a fun little like. I've never had to use it, like not for like a DUI or anything like that. I've never had to use it. So it's, but it's just kind of like a little fun trick, you know. It's like a parlor trick. Uh, do you speak any other languages? Uh, I have mentioned this in a comment before. I speak Spanish fluently. Puedo hablar español. Um, y puedo escribir, puedo leer, puedo um, entender español. And what I said is I can read, write, and understand Spanish. Um, where do you feel most comfortable? Oh, when I'm like at home, sitting on my couch, just bundled up in blankets. Um, clothes optional. I just, I feel so comfortable just sitting in my home, like on a couch in a blanket. Like that's my, it doesn't matter what the weather is outside, whether it's raining, sunny, snowy, whatever. I am just, that's where I'm comfortable most. That's where I do my best thinking. Do you like to be approached or do you like to approach? Oh, okay. Um, I think that I personally am someone who has approached her, like, in terms of like being in a relationship with someone or like approaching someone like romantically or like anything like that it's always been me to be the one to approach again that confidence um but i think i would prefer to be approached because as long as the question is posed that's i think what's important you know um but i think i prefer to be approached in like you know a nice respectful way not like hey baby how you doing or you know maybe if that's what you if that's your if that's your flavor, then that's your flavor, but I'm not going to be into it. <laughs> what kind of a romantic are you? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I've never, people say like, I'm a hopeless romantic. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Um, I think that I'm somebody who I enjoy kisses on the back of my hand. I like, you know, the single stem rose. I like, like the little things. I'm that kind of romantic. I'm the little things romantic favorite tv show uh currently bojack horseman it's really good in this latest season they really delved into a lot more of the idea of they really visualized anxiety like it's crazy they visualize alzheimer's they visualize anxieties they visualize you know addiction 
And they do it in such a very well done way. Like I can't explain it. As somebody that personally goes through anxieties like on a constant basis, it made me feel like this was the great a great way to explain to someone what I'm going through. Like emotionally, physically, mentally. It's just oh, it's so good in my opinion. Plus the writing <laughs> the writing on it is great. I love it. Um I love that show. <laughs> digital or sketch art? I like both. I can't do digital, but I love seeing digital art I think if I had a better setup I'd be able to do it but you know beggars can't be choosers Ooh, favorite horror movie oh I can't choose just one I just I can't I you know I love the classics I love Halloween I love Friday the 13th I like you know Friday vs. Jason I love I actually really did like the first three Saw films because of the the concept behind it it was a really interesting concept um you know, I love the, sh you know, the shining, the exorcist, et cetera, et cetera. Like I love, I guess I like like old school horror movies. I love them because they're so great. They're so great. A dream musical role. Ooh, if I had a, any role in a musical, what would it be? That's tough. I think it would have to be Shiloh from Repo the Genetic Opera. Um, I had a chance to do it, but I had to give it up because my schedule didn't mesh and I was so mad. Um, I love that show and I actually want to do a couple of pieces from that. So be on the lookout. <laughs> uh, how do I feel about PDA? Ooh, PDA, public displays of affection. I don't really like them. I'm not somebody personally who goes out of their way to like, you know, be affectionate in public to towards my significant other or towards a date like I just even hand holding sometimes like gives me anxiety I don't know what it is like I don't care if other people do it like around me I don't but me personally it's just I'm become like 20 times more aware of my surroundings and it's just like it's just something I'd rather not go through <laughs> what are your plans for your covers yeah this is um something that I've been wanting to talk about as well uh just in terms of like I started uploading these during the month of October because I wanted to do like comfort through covers or covers and comfort kind of thing like because everybody does horror in October everybody does it and I do it year round so I wanted to mix it up and do something nice and do something sweeter and do something more fun plus I've been getting a lot more like I've been feeling a lot more confident about my voice because I feel like people have been kind of giving me the benefit of the doubt um so I've been trying more songs and if you guys have any suggestions of what you think my vocal range could hit by all means leave them down below in the comments I'd be happy to happy to give it a shot at least <laughs> and I think that about wraps it up thank you all so fucking much for 2k I cannot believe that we've made it to this point I love you all I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, lovelies.